Howdy all, this is Shane. I'm here to show you how to use the two button or the four button foot switch with the Mustang 3 or 4 amplifiers. It's also probably the same for the Mustang 5, but I don't own one of them. I have the 3, which came with the two button foot switch, and I have the 4, which came with the 4. I also had another one of these which I bought for the 3 before I got the 4 makes any sense so you can actually use either of these for different things or one at a time and I'm going to show you how I have it set up or how you can actually use it if you choose to use both so let's give this a go all right so this is the Eric Clapton Tremolux preset that I made with Dr. Rick and you can download this on the fuse site by searching for in the blues and basically the amp is the amp that we've set and the reverb is always on so that's how it sounds so if I go ahead and hit A, the overdrive pedal comes on, or the stomp box. So very, very cool. And if I hit B, the tape delay that I've set up comes on and the delay button lights up right here. And you can turn them off the same way. Now that's what the two button foot switch does. Although you might wonder, oh, I can't turn the reverb off or I can't turn the modulation on, or maybe you need a different combination. You can absolutely change what these buttons do. So I'm gonna show you through all the different presets you can now select from the two button foot switch mode. Down and up, which will go between patches. So if I click these now, it will go through zero all the way to 99 in terms of all the amp presets and back and forth. I don't really like that mode. I don't think it's really necessary. QA1 and QA2, this basically stores two of your favorite presets. And uh, yeah, it's pretty handy if you just want to use two different tones or the same amp with different configurations. You could use it that way as well. Stomp and mod. All right, so I've just saved button A to be the stomp and button B to be the modulation. So let's give this a shot. This is the amp tone. <laughs> So very cool. If we go back into the utility menu, we can go to stomp and delay, which is what I had it on before. Stomp and reverb. So let's give this a go. So this turns the reverb off because it was just on. So the next one is stomp and tap. So if you've got a delay or a modulation on that you like, you can then turn it into a tap delay feature, which, which is pretty cool. So let's give this a shot. For this to work though, I'm gonna turn on the delay. So very, very usable, 
having a tap tempo thing is really cool. And like I said, you can use it on, I think you can use it on the modulation as well if the modulation's on, so. So very cool, like I said, you can use it on the modulation or delay, it just tap tempos, whatever's on. So the modulation and tap mode is exactly the same as the delay and tap mode, except it's engaging the modulation button on the left here. So yeah, if I now set it as this and exit out, the mod button will come on and off. The next one is delay and tap. So if you have delay set on your amp preset and you basically want to tap tempo the delay, this is this is the mode that you would use right here. Exactly the same as the modulation mode. Reverb and tap. So reverb on and off and then tap tempo. Mod and delay. So these two together. Mod and reverb. So yeah. It gives you all the options, um, but the two button foot switch is slightly limiting as I mentioned, because you can't have you know, all three or four of these on or off at any one time, which is where the big foot switch comes in. So let's go over to that one. It's gonna be hard to see both of these at the same time. So I'm gonna focus mainly on the screen and then just show you or explain to you which are, what I'm doing with the pedal right here. So these are the three buttons I'm gonna be using most the stomp, mod, and delay right here. So I'm gonna move that aside and zoom in on the screen. Like most LCD or, or little liquid crystal displays like these, basically they're really easy to see when you're looking at them with your eyes, but when you try to film them, they don't come up so good. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and go into the utility menu and go through until I get to the four button foot switch mode. And I've got it on mode three lock, which is exactly what I like it on because mode three stops you from accidentally going between your presets when all you wanna do is kick on an overdrive. This is maybe the simplest thing for me as a blues guitar player. And yeah, I really like the fact that it just keeps it really, really simple. So what do the pedals do? Stomp turns on the stomp. Mod turns on the modulation and the third and final button turns on the tape delay. I don't have the reverb set to turn on and off Usually, I just have it on the whole time. So, these will be the on and offs, and I will use the tuner to bring up the tuner, which also lights up on the pedal. One of the things people don't realize is the tuner will also light up on the pedal. So let's give this a shot. So the lights here become your flat and sharps and dead center is green. I've got a pretty bright light right behind me right now. So I don't know if the colors will come up as easily as being right on top of the pedal, but yeah, trust me there, it's great. You can, you really get some benefit out of using the four button foot switch over the two, but the two is very, very usable if you're a simple player or not simple, but if you like a simple setup, I should say. Now that sounds a little bit more messed up than normal because that was the same preset I was just fiddling with with the two button foot switch a minute ago. So, so I'm about to show you how you can utilize both of these to do two different things with the amp at the same time. So this is where it starts getting maybe a little overboard in terms of you know actual pedals and stuff you've got to bring with you. You might as well just have a pedal board. But you know, depending on sort of what music you play or all that kind of stuff, 
this will be really handy. So under the four button foot switch mode, you'll see one called normal. This is maybe the most confusing because you can go up and down between sets of patches in either units of one or up and down in tens, which I don't know. I don't want to do math when I'm playing guitar. So um, yeah, actually I landed on angry rodent. Let's try this. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> okay. Anyway, let's uh, let's show you the other modes. You can also use one of the modes to set your three favorite presets, and that's all you can use. But it's not my thing. Mode three works the best. So I've uh, I've just locked that in, and I've set the two button foot switch up so that it delay taps or turns the delay on and tap tempos. So let's give this a shot. This is the amps tone. <laughs> And when you lock in mode three, you'll see the little orange light come on over here, which is really cool. So let's give this a shot. So tube screamer. Modulation. Delay. This button will also turn the delay on as well. But now I have the ability to tap tempo that delay. Let's make the delay a little more prominent right now. All right, so now you get a really good sense of how it sounds when you tap tempo this. So let's give it a shot medium to fast all right so on the quick access right here you can select three amps that you want as your favorites. And if you decide to, what you can do is go through the options here and change the four button foot switch back to normal. Hit exit. So this is my first amp preset right here. <laughs> That's my supersonic one that we made, which I still haven't uploaded, so I apologize for that. If I hit this, it's now going to go back to the Eric Clapton amp. And if I hit this, it's going to go to the Deluxe Reverb. And as before, turn the delay on, give it a tap tempo. That's it. I wanted to really do this for a while and I hope that gives you some insight into how I set it up or how you can set it up. All right, so this one is the official pedal that comes with the Mustang 4 and you can buy it separately as well. There's also a second one which does exactly the same thing. This one here and this has exactly the same buttons and functionality as that one except you'll notice instead of where it says stomp, mod and delay, it says play, record and overdub. This is designed for one of the other amplifiers. I'm not exactly sure which one. It might be one of those G-Dex or something like that, but it works exactly the same. And internally, it's exactly the same, just cosmetically. 
it's a little different. So yeah, either of these work. I'll put the part numbers in the description in case you're looking for one of these things. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, let me know and I'll answer you as soon as I can. I really like these Mustang amps and the three and the four both have their pros and cons. If you want to know more about what I think of both, check out my channel or there's a link in the description to the video that I recently posted about the most frequently asked questions I've been getting from the YouTube community and my Facebook community as well. So yeah, join in if you have any questions. I always try to get back to people now that I'm back to full health or almost there anyway. So yeah, thanks for all the kind words and I will speak to you all soon. See ya.